sweeties okay so so far you've seen me drown and stain um, all the edges of this book it has been drying at a very tall level while the heaters going um, I've used to use science to help me dry it quicker it's just been overnight and it's just the front edge that's a little damp so mostly dry here um, but if you put it up tall, like on a bookcase or something, um, during winter, because all, all the heat's above us, um, I find they tend to dry pretty quickly. Um, now I've gone for a border damaged look um, in the colors. I didn't, for this particular book, I wanted it to look like it was once the the pretty and bright um, rainbow type colors but has since been 
has since seen some crap. Um, the reason for this is I'm going to use this for um, a photo journal memory book type thing of all the pictures that are some of the pictures I found it from when the girls were little that never made it in a scrapbook. Um, but while I had this, I just put it up uh, to dry yesterday when the youngest had come over and she just she caught a glimpse of it. She's like, oh my god, I need one of those, which is hilarious. It's like, dude, this one's yours. <laughs> so that made my heart happy. Um, but yeah, and I love this look. But I, I want that definite, oh, we might have one page that's stuck. When you get pages with a lot of pigment in them, those are the ones I find that tend to stick together. Oh my god, it has an angel. Huh. There we go, that's not too bad. Man, there's so much stuff in these. Rorschach. But yeah, I want it to be... Yeah, look at these. Look what it's done, just willy-nilly. It's illustrated itself. <laughs> How cool is that? Oh my god, look. Look, see? You saw how I did this, there was no rhyme or reason, just lots of water, lots of mud making with the occasional letting color through the page, right? And it makes magic. Um, Shannon Green does an epic version of this. Um, and for the other book, I think I'm going to do a modified version. But yeah, for, for what I'm doing um, for this one, I don't want it to be all shiny and bright. I want it to be that transition. I want the colors in there just enough to be reminded of childhood, but tarnished by adulthood, if that makes any sense. Because um, if you're lucky as an adult, you still get to see the pretty colors. plugged in, you get to create them. Oh. Alright, let's see. I've got 13 minutes left on this battery before I have to charge it for like two hours or something ridiculous. And then back to my other big projects. But I wanted to um, step in and, and uh, or jump in here and, and show you where this one's at. But see, very very water damagey feel that we've done on purpose. That's probably flashed out because of the lights right there. Sorry, it's very grey today. Don't they look like sentries standing face to face? This one and this one. Oh, I love this. This is great. Okay, we're going this way. Um, I will give this another day. Yeah, probably another day to dry. Um, it's it's barely damp. You, you can barely feel the damp um, in the heavier inked areas. But we'll give that um, a day to dry. And then um, I will weigh down the whole book with um, some weightlifting weights. Um, what I have discovered you can do also is very barely spray all this again, weigh it down and check on it every half hour or so. You don't want to leave it like that. That is when uh, when it could mold. Um, here we go. But yeah, I, I will do a separate video for the next one because I want to try something very... I want to do a similar thing but very differently.
find the right container to do it, I think, though. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to see them. Oh my god, see how pretty that is? Look. So we can journal and stick photos in and have just enough border to not be boring or something. <gasps> oh, it's a genie. Or a dragon. And a seahorse. Ooh, and a mermaid. This is fun. I like this game. Okay, so just make a Rorschach book then. Maybe. The, the inkblot books. Tell me what you see. <laughs> and I'll tell you who you are. Oh, uh, good lord. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to get off of here. Yes, I am. It's about to kick me off anyway. But this is our... I don't want to call it distressed. I know everybody's calling everything distressed. And it's getting a little old, I think, but whatever. So I remember when faux was a word. And I know it's still out there, but they used it for everything at one point in time. What, in the 90s or so? Everything was faux leather, faux whatever. Oh my god, this is beautiful. Oh, this is going to be an awesome, awesome project. <clears throat> I don't know if I'll be sharing the process, any of the process of this one or even do a flip through. I'll, I'll have to see. Because it really is a, a gift. Okay, so that's at the top. This is the front here. So yeah, see all this? Look at that. The good part about these is you can't mess this up now. Look at it. It's huge alligator mouth from the get-go. You, you can't you can't bugger this book up. It's just a great, great way to uh, use up your books. Do something with them. Look at that. Look at that. And keep in mind I went for the water damage old colored look. You, you can do this in the bright, bright rainbows and, and whatever, and they're, they're, oh my god, they're so pretty. But that's just out of a, a journal, just an everyday journal. If you guys make one of these, do let me know. Let me know how, you know, what color scheme you went with, if one at all, or if you just threw every color at it. Um, yeah, I'm going to stick this back up for probably another day. Let the front and the back just a little bit are damp. Not bad, though. Not for a day. So, yeah. That's how I do my juicy book edges. I don't know what anybody's actually calling them. Um, it's not my idea. It's been around forever. Like, long before internet. So, <laughs> um... Yeah, that's how I'm, I'm doing this one, and the next one I'm going to try something a little more ombre, shall we say. See, and some of these look like they're not ready. Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh my god, that's gorgeous. And some, some pages are far more, you know, filled in and juicy, and, and others just a little bit. I like these ones that are real fady. That's great. Alright loves. Keep wanting to shut it to put it away. But it's not ready. It's got to dry, weigh it down, and then I can dig in and start sticking things in and writing down the stories that go with them before I forget. Which hopefully I have not forgotten any. Alright. Thanks for watching you guys. Love you, bye-bye.